Hi, my friend. How are you? <laughs> it is Wednesday, Block Wednesday. I'm Pat Sloan for my daily videos with a topic of the day, what's going on, and some chit chat. Maybe a Q and A at the end. So <laughs> I don't know. It's a uh, the kickoff of yesterday, September 1st, was not a bright, sunny day here in Virginia. So I'd like to have a do-over of that one. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. That's our topic of the day on our calendar, which I forgot to bring over, uh, which you can download below, is uh, the book nook. So I will show you a book that my friend Corey Yoder uh, just came out with, with the Fat Quarter Shop. And it's really cute. It's a it's a project. It's a sampler. Yay! I love samplers. But there's two things because I also want to show you this new book stand that I got because I needed some help, uh, help, you know, keeping keeping things so I can can get to them. So here we go. Ah, uh, let me bring it over here. So here is the book. This is Corey's book. That's uh, called a uh, very. Coriander Christmas. Her last name is Coriander. So this, let me show you the picture of the of the quilt in this nifty book stand. So here is the sampler quilt and it's on a spiral, which I love. Uh, so this is a project book. It's basically to do this sampler. And I just love that those, those blocks are really, really exciting. Very fun. There's some that are probably a bit more challenging, um, but I don't think any of them are, are super hard. There's like, you know, not crazy stuff it's just you know a lot of pieces and um maybe some you know sewing sewing that you might not do on your normal things plus it's got these fabulous look at these fabulous stars in the cornerstones there there's also a bonus uh extra block where here let me see uh they did uh she did one quilt all in repeat this is using her new Christmas fabric line, but you know, it's red, green, gray. So you could do this at any point with any kind of color family. So this is really nice that if you love the look of how it's the same, the same block done with different placements of fabrics, no matter what fabrics you use, you could just do simulate like this is the same fabric as in the corner here and then the red and the green. So there's a gray out here, green and red. So you could simulate that if you're using red everywhere that's red, 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 red. You just, you know, put it in the same spot and you'll get this sort of great sparkling look. She calls this Seasons of Stars. So this is a great book and I will link you up to it where I found it at a discount. Yay, 20% off right now on uh, on this one. So let me show you this little, let me see, let me move that light so get a different there we go I usually push it over there so this this little book stand I just got off of uh, I got it off of Amazon it's a bamboo book stand and it has some interesting features that I really like because I oh, will come down here again on the back it has the adjustable placement so that you can go you know however you really want the stand to be it can be pretty straight up like this or really, really laid back down, sort of like those beach chairs. Then on the front, I'll put this book back in here again. This is one thing that I think is super cool, is these just pull up and they, you know, they rotate if you need them to go up higher like this. Uh, and they'll hold the, the pages down so that if you have a thicker book and the pages, like I'm thinking that the vintage Christmas one, I didn't get it out to do this, but the vintage Christmas one would be good because it's, you know, something that might not be spiral bound uh, and you need to really keep these pages flat so they're not, you know, bowing out on you. That is a really cool thing. Plus, this whole thing folds up super small. There, that's all, oh, this goes up. There we go. See how it's it's very narrow. So put the thing down in the back and this can just slip right into your bookshelf. That's what I like. It is not too big. It's not very tall. It is, let's see, let me get the the book here. It is not, it's, I think it's smaller. It's about the same size. So, so it's about the same size as the book. See? So about the same size, and this is uh, like a regular size for books. Okay, fantastic, new new things. 
But I think it's really great because they also show you, I'll, where I link you up down below, it shows you putting your um, tablet on there. So if you don't have a, um, a stand on your tablet or if you have one that's not working for you really well because it doesn't tilt, like mine doesn't tilt, it's like one, one position. Also, I can put my phone there. Uh, which I've been doing a lot lately. I've been, because of this and because of having to do the therapy, I need to have something to watch or read. And often I will look at, read my email or do something like that and respond. I can actually respond by the voice text while I'm like uh, pushing my wrist down or doing finger presses. Uh, so um, putting my phone there will be super good. So that it is, it is uh, really neat and it's not very expensive. So it's a great addition if you've been looking for a book uh, you know, keeper like that. All right, let's get on to our picnic block, which you saw a sneak peek when I had the camera down there, didn't you? Here we go. This is our block for the week. It's one of these great woven blocks that depending on how you put that stripe, it can be, it looks really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> and the topic for the going on the picnic this week is the summer fruits. Yes, summer fruit, watermelon, strawberries, peaches, nectarines. How many of you are nectarine fans? Yes, I love, I love, love, love nectarines. When I was a kid, when we, we didn't get nectarines when we lived in Europe, or at least my mom didn't find them very easily, or maybe they weren't very good. Maybe they were imported and didn't, you know, didn't make it through that process that well. So we just really didn't get nectarines unless we came back in the summer for vacation. And then I would just eat nectarines like crazy. I just love them. So let me show you, let me show you the block. Whoops, over here, Pat, there we go. Um, I'll show you the back of it because I know you like to see that. This is Anne's made all of these for me. And so here is the pressing, which she did. Uh, you know, it's pretty basic. So for those of you who like to see exactly that, you can stop action your video and look. Okay, so we are going to look at some other fabric options because I think this is a fun one to play around with. You can get some really neat effects. So first thing I did is like this is in turquoise and navy. So an option would be to do like navy and peach. And uh, you could run, like this will also give you that stripe effect using this particular fabric. Um, so I like that combo too. I think it gives this one the lights are very light so you're going to have a heavy ribbon effect on the dark particularly if you did this in repeat these two don't have the sort of light dark so they're more the media you know they, they read more equally the other one i pulled out <clears throat> was using the aqua using the stripe from the aqua and the floral from the aqua and then or it's kind of minty green depending on how you look at that i don't know if you're using this particular fabric bundle that i am Tell me if you think this is minty green or if you think this is aqua. It kind of reads both ways to me, depending. Anyway, <clears throat> pair it with the gold. I think that's a great, a great combo. Or what if you did all stripes? What if you did like there would be stripes and there would be stripes? What if you did a whole block of stripes? Look at that. That is so cool. Now, this is kind of an ombre stripe, which means that it's the you know ombre is the it's sort of the navy goes lighter, 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 then starts back dark. So that's a sort of a shaded, a shaded uh, way to to do a stripe. Okay, woohoo! Though that is a fun block, and if somebody does a block and repeat, be sure you let me know. Be sure you share it. Now, if you're going to do the uh, Orphil spools, I have one today, which is with the red and white stripe. Now, I think a whole quilt of these spools with stripes and plaids, that would be so fantastic. Now, if you look at um, Wendy's original, she changed the spool colors out because Orphil has green spools. That orange is 50 weight, green is 40 weight, gray is 28, and red spools are 12 weight so she did some of each on her quilt so you could do just all orange which is what i am going to do because <clears throat> i just don't have um the ability to get in there and do a whole bunch of other things so i'm just going to do all orange for mine all right so 
I have one super cute thing to show you. Because this came, it's like, it's like a little, <clears throat> I have to get out of the package because it's sort of like, it's a macaroon little container. And it came in a package that to me feels like it's like a cookie package. I think you get a little treat, but they're, uh, it's sort of a rubbery container. There we go. I couldn't remember which. So there you can uh, put little, a little treasure in there. That would be darling to give a gift. Like you could fill it with coins or you could fill it with buttons. Uh, you could fill it with um, pins. What if you did? This would be so cute if you were giving a gift of really cute pin. Like all those cute pins that are out. You could put the pin in here. It's, this would also be nice in your sewing kit. <clears throat> if you have like just want to keep little scraps so that you could just dump them out like put the little thread ends in here I think that's what I'm going to use it for just throw the little just like a little trash container <laughs> it's so darn cute I think the the it comes this is like a sample or so so I think it comes with three you get three in the package my package just came with one because it came with a with something else so so cute so cute all right now I want to remind you that if you're looking for things, you can always go over to my I Love to Make Quilts website. I Love to Make Quilts. That is my website with all my sew along. So if you're looking for a missing block that you didn't get or a layout that you forgot to take, um, if you want to see what's currently going on and get the calendar. So that's on I Love to Make Quilts. So uh, if I have that link below. So in case you were looking for something, I wanted to show you or tell you how to find it. <laughs> Sometimes if, if I if could get fancy, I would like do a whole video thing about how to navigate. But, you know, maybe someday. We'll see. So I love you. It is the 2nd of September. So I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you online. Mwah! I love you.